All right guys, what's going on? Fernie here and today I've got you guys a brand new video and it's more of a different type of video. Um, if you're not a sports fan or a football fan or whatever, uh, you can go ahead and click on this video. This probably won't interest you. But if you are into football and uh, I guess uh, league rivalries, uh, this will be the video for you. So basically today we're going to be talking about the XFL making its way to Seattle, not just Seattle, um, cities nationwide, many cities and eight to be exact, and out of eight of them, Seattle is one of them, and Seattle's about a two city bus drive distances away from my house, so I could easily get to like every single game if I wanted to, and that's what we're going to talk about today, will the XFL survive specifically in Seattle? and around the nation basically so right now in the nfl there's just so much controversy going on from politics and i'm not really into politics but i mean that's really what the xfl is going on in the nfl what's going on right now uh politics and whatnot and and not just that there's just so much stuff going on that it's one of the best times it's been in a while for another league to be introduced and not just to be introduced but to easily not easily but to possibly rival the nfl and that's where we bring in the xfl and yes i know in 2001 the xfl didn't last because of uh it was introduced with just so much i guess wrestling personality and just so much like it felt like you're in a wwe uh segment it just felt like it was a part of the WWE when that's not supposed to be the case. And even once in Vince McMahon's um, opening line was like, "This is uh, the XFL and his my like, WWE persona, persona uh, which is really bad for the league." And just starting it off, he was trying to mix both uh, football fans and wrestling fans into one sport, which that should not be the case. They should look more towards the diehard football fans, because if you guys don't know. Uh, in 2020, uh, the XFL will launch 10 days after the Super Bowl, and that's when, like, uh, obviously after the Super Bowl, there's going to be no football, like, live. So, um, fans need to find another source of professional football. And in these eight cities, and out of one, out of all eight of them, one of them is a city that does not have an NFL team anymore, but they used to. They used to have the Rams, which moved to Los Angeles. So, St. Louis will have a void they've had for a while now and it'll be close finally because of the xfl there'll be another prof professional team but who knows if they'll rival the nfl because i'm probably not you know but we're talking about vince mcmahon here you know he's letting his ego get the best of him right now he failed once but he wants to try to you know put a band-aid over it he doesn't want that because uh, yeah that was a really really rough patch and they haven't announced if NBC will be a partner this time, but probably not. Um, who knows? They said they're looking for a major, major powerful partner. Uh, so we'll see what they can do there. But as I said, NF X will XFL, XFL survive in Seattle? And in my opinion, it, it could. Because this is not 2001 anymore. Uh, there's so much more marketing strategy, business strategies, and just so much things that they can do to... Uh, continue to have the XFL survive in this era. Uh, we have obviously gambling, mobile gambling wagers for you know bets of XFL games, um, marketing, just so much marketing uh, other than cable alternatives, just so much stuff that they can do to promote and just keep the XFL running and running in this modern era. Um, and just so much cities are looking for teams. Uh, there's players that, got, that have been cut from the NFL who are looking for teams because maybe they're the physical of them. They probably couldn't make it to the NFL, so the XFL is picking them up. So I think in Seattle, the XFL could thrive because Seattle fills stadiums so much. Uh, I would know because I live in this area. So uh, obviously Los Angeles can obviously maintain a sports team, and they're actually the only uh, million Dollar Game Champions. I'm pretty sure they, they gotta rename that game. The Million Dollar Game is just... Doesn't sound good. So... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're the Los Angeles Extreme back in the day. Uh, St. Louis will definitely, uh, what do you call it, um, support an XFL team. Their support is actually the best support that the XFL's gotten, especially since, uh, uh, they lost the Rams a little while back. So, their support's been pretty good for the XFL. Uh, DC... 
Um, you guys already know teams, New York, New Jersey, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Houston and all these other teams. It's going to be good. It's going to be interesting, but it's going to be good. Ten days after the Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure that they're going to try to promote the XFL during the Super Bowl halftime show. Or, not this halftime show. You know, the commercials. You know, Super Bowl commercials get so much views. That's why people pay so much money just to have their commercial aired uh, during the Super Bowl. Imagine if I got my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. But that's my opinion. I think it will survive really good in Seattle. Seattle, you know, we have uh, the dubs. We have so much stuff in this area. You know, Seattle is a widely known city. Uh, it's growing and growing. They have a population, or we have a population of like 750,000 in the city. And the metro over 4 million. It's a, it's a big city. Or over, way over 4 million. It's a... I think the second or third biggest city on the west coast and it's the biggest seaport on the west coast uh people come from like uh japan all those cities in asia countries in asia uh just there's just so much potential for another football team to rise in this city um you know the emerald city we already got our uh hockey team announced the NF nhl and uh xfl a day after got announced so that's two teams in less than a week that's insane. That's actually really insane. That we got two professional teams in basically the same day. That's crazy. Tell me what you guys think about that. What do you guys think about the XFL and the NHL being announced on basically the same day? Because I think that's insane. So much more opportunities coming near me. You know, uh, in Washington, there's not a lot to do. And that's speaking from my own experience. Uh, especially up here in the western, like the northwestern part of Washington. Uh, really, it's basically like going to uh, the ocean, I guess, uh, Deception Pass, uh, just all that kind of stuff. There's not like a bunch of like sporting events other than like uh, um, Seahawks, Mariners and stuff like that. But we need so much more sports teams. We need a, we need a basketball team. I, that's what we need. I love basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport. I think a basketball team will strive in Seattle in this era. It's been since 2008 since we've had a team. And I need to refill that gap, guys. But, again, I feel like another professional football team will thrive in the city of Seattle. In the state of Washington, obviously. Um, another professional team. Because uh, an XFL team, oof. Uh, it's just, it's gotten so much media attention. Uh, we'll have our university teams. We support our university teams over here. We got uh, the University of Washington and Washington State University. We definitely support those, but... We need another professional team down here. So, again, tell me what you guys think about this. Do you guys support uh, Seattle XFL? Not the NFL, Seattle XFL. And do you think these companies will rival each other? I'm not sure. And just uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, uh, smash a like, I guess. But uh, t I want to see what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Uh, do you guys think they'll rival it? Rival it? Uh, oh man. And team names. What team names would you guys suggest for those eight cities that are coming to the XFL? Eight inaugural cities. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's been Fernie. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And by the way, guys, the reason I can't edit my videos right now, as I said yesterday, is because my computer is not working. And the reason my face is all messed up right now is because I got attacked. So yeah. Bye-bye.